Hey guys, Darren here. Welcome to Mayhem Country Living. This is a video series that I have been looking forward to doing. We are going to do uh, several videos, a group of videos. They're all going to be centered around long-term food preservation, specifically grains. This set is going to be about corn. Not just any corn. This is going to be feed corn. This is feed corn Normally, this is the corn that you would find at a feed store. And you're going to go and buy this as animal fodder for your uh, horses or cows, or goats, or grind it up and give it to your chickens, which is a good use for it as well. But I know a lot of you are going to say, well, I'd never eat that kind of crap. Ah, here's a joke. You've been eating it that way for 50 years, but you just didn't know it. Feed corn is what they use in most cereals. Most grain cereals are feed corn, as well as your tortilla chips, uh, corn chips, and anything that is a breakfast cereal. Yep, it's going to be feed corn. And it's also going to be in uh, all your corn liquor and everything. So all that corn liquor that's on sale now at the state stores, it's all from feed corn. I know okay, guys. that you're saying, well, I'll just go buy 50 pounds of uh, regular dried uh, human consumption corn and, and pack it away. Absolutely, go do it. And we'll pay a few hundred dollars. It, it, and it'll be great. It's fantastic. Um, this 50 pound bag of uh, feed corn was $7. Now, I want you to note that this is aflatoxin tested, triple cleaned corn. Uh, this is from a feed store that I use uh, a, a lot. Aflatoxin is a toxin that is from molds that grow on corn that are improperly stored. Now one of the things you want to be careful with if you see like field and stream, you know, you go in there and they have deer corn, stuff like that. You got to be careful with that because if you flip it over it'll say tested to uh, have no more than 1% uh, of aflatoxin. Wow, you can't use that stuff, that'll kill you. You want to use stuff that is tested negative. This has been triple tested, clean, stored properly, and we're gonna store it properly as well. We're going to pack it up, vacuum seal it, we're going to seal it in measured amounts. We're going to put it in five gallon buckets. We're going to use natural pest repellents, which are going to be uh, rosemary, uh, lavender, and bay leaves. These are all perennials that hopefully you have growing on your homestead or you have access to. These are easy to grow and once you get them established, they come back year after year. They are perennials. We're going to pack it in measured amounts, like I said, and then throughout the video series, we're going to pull it out, and we're going to use this in the different videos. Now, I know a lot of you are saying, well, big deal, it's corn. You can only do so much with corn. You eat a, you eat a can of corn. No. You can use this. We can grind it up uh, four times to make cornmeal, and that's great, and you can use it for cornbread stuff like that for batters. You can also grind it up really coarse, only grind it once, and you can use it for grits. You can soak the skins off of them and use it for hominy. You can just rehydrate it in water to have regular corn like you're talking about, like a can of corn. We can take this, grind it really coarse, let it sour, ferment, cook it, and we've got corn liquor. We're going to do all of these on video. It's going to be fun. So, now, what can you do? Well, you can eat it, you can cook with it, you can drink it. Uh, well, in addition to drinking it, you can use it for medicinal purposes as well. You can use it to clean and prep with. And like I said, we're going to do video series covering all of this one of the things okay. is I was setting all this up and I was going over everything, getting everything set in place and I was looking at, well, okay, we've got the five gallon bucket and I washed it, cleaned it, rinsed it out with a little bit of bleach and I'll put the garbage bag in there and then we're going to get the uh, uh, 
uh, the vacuum seal bags and I've got my mylar bags and the oxygen absorbers and we're going to suck the air out of it with the vacuum sealer and then we're going to uh, have it all in the measured amounts and like I said we'll get it ready to store and we're going to do this throw these in there with it and we're going to do this to try to get five years food storage out of 50 pounds of grain corn rather and the Native Americans North Americans and Central Americans and South Americans are actually all over the United States and all over the world have been storing it this way not in vacuum sealed bags but have been storing these grains for hundreds and thousands of years with no problems so we're doing everything modern to get five years what they've been doing for thousands of years ain't progress great. I'm also going to include guys. in the show notes here every link to everything that we have purchased and I'll just run over what we have purchased uh, not just for this series but in everything else this is a hand grain meal you can do coffee you can do wheat you can do corn uh, nuts anything that you can do with a coarse grain you adjust it a little, little bit and you can get a finer grain out of it grind rather um, vacuum seal bags I'll leave a link for those the scale that we use to weigh everything that we have I'll leave a link for that as well uh, the vacuum sealer this is a cheap vacuum sealer this is the only one I use I use this a lot and, and it works out fantastic I will leave links as well uh, for information on the feed corn and information as well on the aflatoxin because you do need to be careful and watch out for that. If you use the wrong corn and there is a lot of mold and everything growing on it, it can really cause a problem in you and your group and also in the animals that you feed it to. So if you fed this to a cow uh, that was uh, for milk purposes, you could have uh, problems with the milk if it was infected with the aflatoxin. But I'll leave links for that so you can uh, do your due diligence. I want you to research everything that I tell you because I could be crazy. My hair makes me look crazy. So I've got to get all of this bagged up. I might do a couple of bags on camera. And I brought this in and told my wife about it and she kind of rolled her eyes and she said, oh my God, you're going to do this in my kitchen, aren't you? And I said, no, I'm not going to do this in your kitchen. I lied. I lied for you guys though, so cover my ass. Anyway, what we're going to do is just, like I said, bag it up. I vacuumed some hard and then I left some with a partial vacuum. Thing is, I use vacuum sealers. And then I also use the oxygen absorbers. These things absorb oxygen. They don't absorb all the air out of these things. So you can put one of these in there. You can put 10 in and it will absorb all of the oxygen. It won't absorb all of the air. The air is 70% nitrogen uh, with a bunch of other inert gases and a little bit of oxygen that we breathe. So it won't do exactly the same as, uh, as a vacuum sealer, but all the oxygen is absorbed. And why do I do it that way? Because it's easier to pack. Uh, it can conform around the curve of the uh, five-gallon bucket. Okay, so, guys, you can see I've got the bag. Cut the bag a little too high. Have the oxygen absorber in. We're getting ready to vacuum seal it. What I did previously, I weighed this uh, Pyrex two-cup measuring cup and teared it down to zero, and it was like a pound and five ounces and so whatever I pour inside and fill up to the two cup level is roughly a pound so I put this in there and then I weigh it out that way we'll have some some way to duplicate recipes uh, and it's just for me you could actually if you could vacuum seal the whole damn five gallon bucket I guess you could do it that way but you've got a lot of portions to eat through pretty quick this is why I'm doing individual portions like this okay guys okay. just want to show you again what we're doing weighing it out and filled it up two pounds two tenths of an ounce we're good at two pounds right there 
and again I will include links in the show notes Amazon links of all these uh, things that are here if you would um, and are interested in purchasing them use the link that's available in the description down there and we'll get a little something I think 3% or 4% off of the sale from Amazon it won't cost you anything extra but it will go a long way to keeping my wife from yelling at me while I use the kitchen um, okay guys I want to show you this this is kind of why I, some of these I'm doing a partial vacuum or just sealing them up so they will kind of conform and fit into here and we can fit in a little bit more but everything is still sealed and there is no oxygen so we don't have any kind of uh, funky growth going on in there okay guys now I want to show you this 22 pounds vacuum sealed oxygen absorbers in this five gallon bucket and you see we still have a lot of extra space the way it's uh, been packed so what I do is I'll get like one of these mylar bags that I have used previously I'll seal one end with a uh, with a vacuum sealer heater and then I'll get um, a hair straightener and seal it that way and that way and I'll make three different distinct pouches and I'll fill it up with salt, pepper, cayenne and I'll seal that in I'll write the description on there and the dates and I'll pack it in with this whatever extra condiments or spices would go a long way when you open it up I do uh, boxes of matches this way as well uh, I think five boxes of matches fit in here and vacuum seal the ends right on it of course jam it down in there and that way all of your space is used efficiently More okay guys now we're back and just so you know 50 pounds triple clean corn is going to fill up two five gallon buckets and I had spilled a lot of it and I figured I would milk a lot of it out. That is from one milling with a hand mill. And it's still pretty coarse. This is stuff that is dropped on the floor, so I'm going to give it to the chickens. Crack corn. So, one pound, two pounds, is that one container. And, you know, whatever spilled a little bit. So. That's good to know. Anyway, guys, we're going to wrap it up for this part of this video series. Thanks for watching. In just a second, you're going to see a picture of my ugly mug pop up over there on that corner, as well as my beautiful wife. And uh, on the opposite side are going to be some videos if we are indeed your brand wacky. Those will be the videos that are going to be next in the series. I, I will populate them later as uh, we generate them. Take care of you people, guys.